Hi everyone and welcome back. I hope uh, everyone is doing good. Uh, last week I was traveling so I was not able to put any content on my YouTube channel. This corona and the quarantine things get messy. Okay, so in this video I'm going to talk about Portainer which is a tool to manage the containers. Okay, this is like a miscellaneous topic which I found out okay this is very important if you are using Docker then how you can actually visualize the docker instead of uh, using docker containers from the command line like you wanted to start stop or you wanted to check the IP gateway of a docker container you wanted to check the port how two different containers can talk to each other what all port a container is exposing all these things you will come to know using this particular tool this tool can be required if you are using like five to six or more than containers and they all are in the different network. If you are writing only single docker compose file and everything is inside a single network then you already know they can talk to each other and you can check the logs. But still if you wanted to just visualize the logs, you wanted to inspect the containers, you wanted to check the, the port they are exposing and how you can actually talk between different containers who are in the different network. Okay, in that case, this particular tool, which is a portainer tool for Docker, can be useful. And if you are already running Docker on your system, then you can just run this command. It will help you to start the portainer container on 9000. Okay, when you go to localhost 9000, you will be able to see the portainer running on your system, something like this. Okay, so this is a portainer.io, and what it does. It is really very useful when you are running on many containers. Containers like your local stack. Your applications are big, you have many containers and you want to see what all different logs are being processed. So either you use the VS Code plugins, Docker, Docker Compose plugins, or you will write a manual commands, Docker Execute, Docker EXCC, or Docker Logs container name. If you wanted to remove, restart, you wanted to see the images, you wanted to stop the container, start the container, restart the particular container. All these things command you are running manually, right? So in that case, this, this tool, which is doing nothing, but it is actually hitting the REST APIs of Docker daemon process. And it is just doing the same thing. It is executing those commands for you. There may be 100 tools or doing the same thing, but this portainer is one of the uh, I mean, I like it because I'm using since a long time this particular tool, which is managing my different containers. So uh, I have a lot of stacks here and a lot of containers are there, right? 13 plus containers are there, 10 plus different networks, volumes and all, right? So in this particular case, visualize all different containers, the logs coming in the, into the different containers, what all port these containers are exposing for, for the host and for the container. Like a particular Node.js process will be using some host port and some container port, right? All these information and you wanted to go and look into the logs, then this can be helpful instead of you are running a command and looking into the logs of individual container. Okay, so here you can see the networks, all the... So this is really very helpful when it comes to inspecting the containers and trying to look into what all networks, volumes and all you have, right? So this tool you can use this is just a miscellaneous item i wanted to cover which is just talking about how you can use a portainer using just uh, running a simple docker command it will just create its own portainer container and then it will just look at all the other containers running logs their logs it will be able you will be able to start stop restart delete the image sometimes what happen is we used to do a prune command to delete the unused images unused containers and you wanted to check the status how many containers are running so it is just a good level of visualization which is giving you to see what all containers running what all images are there what all what all dummy images are there which you can delete so all these things you can do and the proper cleanup activity you can perform using portainer tool okay so installation is very easy it's a one line code uh, if you already have a docker running then you can get it started okay this is very developer friendly tool Similarly, there is a Kubernetes tool like K9S or maybe there are different tools for Kubernetes also where you can actually monitor the pods, can see the logs coming into different Kubernetes uh, pods. Similarly, this is for Docker and for the local development, people use 
Kubernetes single node cluster or the dockerized containers. So this is very helpful to see the thing, see what all things are happening in the microservice environment where you have multiple Node.js containers, Node.js, MySQL, Revit, MQ, MongoDB, all these containers you are running and you wanted to see the logs. Okay, this Node.js service is doing this log, this Node.js service is doing that log, how they are communicating, all these things you can use. There are many other tools available which will give you the visualized output also how the containers are talking on which port and how they are talking to one another by looking into the Docker Compose file. Okay, thanks everyone.